coming anyway. Yeah. And um, so humanity really formed. What happened was then the, the remaining survivors, the Adamic race of that time frame, they were indoctrinated with the new teachings and the teachings of what reptilians wanted us to think and believe down to how we reason and ma the mathematics, how we view about the world and how big the universe is. All those concepts were seeded then. Wow. And, and, and what, what that actually ended up happening as a result of all that, we atrophied our genetics. We atrophied the DNA, meaning it, it shrunk. It never, it never goes away. We, have, we still have a full, complete strand of DNA. We just have inactive DNA, which scientists today call junk DNA. Mm -hmm. They know it's there. They can see it. They just think it's not doing anything, and they don't really understand why it's even there. Mm. But, but it's just based on our belief systems. This is why it's inactive and still in that standby mode, if you want to call it that. Because we, because our belief systems, and the more we shrink our consciousness, we believe that we're the only ones in the universe. We believe that life is cruel and evolution is this way, where it's a step pyramid. We're this, and we we end up in this, and you know everything's out to get us. If we believe that every day, that shrinks our DNA and it, it disempowers us. And and now we can introduce religion. Came next, after yeah. later down the line, thousands of years later. But even just before that. Once that, that going back to the to the colony, the Adamic race in Atlantis, they something happened at that time when humanity was enslaved. That the Adamic race had the the, the eaves of the story, which is this, the, going back to the Adam and Eve story. The eaves of the story were the the females, right, and the, just the females of the race, but they weren't only that; they were also the Pleiadians and. Um, other human looking races were, were set, particularly the Pleiadians in this case from Lumeria and, and externally came in, snuck in, if you want to call it that, pretending to be hum, uh, the, the Homo Adamic race to try and they, they spread knowledge and, and what I'm spreading today, they, they were talked about this stuff to the Adamic race to empower them. And, and it really did to reactivate their DNA because they were naked without knowledge. And the mm -hmm. snake rep, the snake in the story of Adam and Eve represents knowledge because the snake and I'm sorry, the snake represents the female faction, the, the, the Pleiadians of the time who came in to tell because in, in, in most of history, snake can be symbolized in a few different ways, but it's either knowledge or the female. And that's why you see the caduceus symbol is snakes going up of the, the medical symbol mm -hmm. because it's affecting our DNA, how, how you believe about ourselves. That's what it literally means.